Hi guys, how are you? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a clone from your hard disk. That's really helpful. So if you want to change your hard disk for any reason, if you want to change it to the SSD or your hard disk uh, got a problem and you want to change it or want to change the capacity of your hard disk, uh, that is really useful. So you just create a clone from your old hard disk to the new one. Uh, this application is for this feature is free and it's really good. Uh, today I'm going to test it on the virtual environment. Uh, right now I created a clone, uh, actually a virtual machine on the virtual uh, VMware workstation. Uh, I configure it just to show you on the settings. I have already two hard disks. The one of two 60 gigabyte hard disk. So this is the my main uh, hard disk, and this one is second hard disk. As you can see, that name is second hard disk. Both are uh, 60 gigabytes, and let's check it under Windows. So this is disk 0, which is the first disk or disk, so the normal one, the basic, uh, the, the that one, the operating system installed on it, and uh, this one, the disk 1 is the second one, as you can see, this is full empty, and uh, I didn't touch it yet. Okay, so let's start. First you need to go to this website to do dash backup ESOS. ESOS is a very powerful software for the backup and uh, this feature uh, actually for this feature is free on the home version so you just need to go to the product and after that to do backup free download it from here so this version the free version actually the free version as you can see the paid one is $31 that's quite cheap for the all the features you can just uh, for with the free version one you can get the backup and restore and uh, clone disk this clone and uh, yeah but the full version cover all of them which is really helpful I really I highly recommend uh, by the uh, full version one you can use the rest of the features but this feature, the clone disk, is free on the, is available on the free version. So press download it and download it. It's really simple. Just press download and put your email address here and submit it and download it. Already I downloaded it, which is here. Let's install it. Choose your language. I'll leave it as it is, English. I use the free version, just press next, accept the license, uh, level agreement, and uh, yeah, that's good. Next, default backup should be okay on the C drive, my backup. Um, I don't want to do that, just press next.
some of the software doing this feature for the clone disk uh, doesn't support HDD to SSD which is one of the problem for the support guy and uh, it's actually it's hard for the uh, user uh, home user as well uh, but this application support HDD to SSD that's really good that's really powerful software so this one is the on the first top 10 uh, backup software I really highly, uh, I really recommend that uh, by the full version which is really helpful you can use it for the normal backup backup from your hard disk your data which is really important for you guys to have your data backup if it's something wrong with your hard disk you have it Finish. We don't have the license code right now, just a person later. Run the application. Okay, that's really simple and it's really easy. Mm, I don't want to update it right now. Uh, just tell me later. Okay, on the top. We have the clone. Press the clone. Here, your source. What is your source? My source actually is, you can choose your partition. If you want to do the partition to partition, you can do that as well. But I want to do the hard disk. So press, actually, uh, tick on this box. And for the, actually, just I have only C drive on the disk on my disk zero so just press um, just tick the, for the hard disk and uh, next source disk zero and our target the target is not the disk zero anymore so I my target is the second hard disk so I press this choose this uh, disk one and confirm it disk zero our source target disk one gonna be partition a should be okay okay leave it it might take depends on your hard disk it takes time uh, this one is the 60 gigabyte hard disk and uh, it's not lots of data on it just I installed windows on it so I think it's only 15 gigabytes something like that let me check for you guys um, as you can see yeah the half of that no actually it's 71% uh, is free so it's only 30% that's not a lot uh, it might take about one hour so just leave it I highly recommend do not use your laptop or computer on this time uh, it's better run it at night and uh, leave your computer on and uh, when you wake up in the morning must be finished and uh, if you want to do that run it at night uh, you have this option shut down the computer 
first this one and whenever the software finished the cloning um, shut down your computer which is good but it doesn't take it's it's gonna be about the uh, one hour uh, I pause the video and uh, come back to you guys when it's finished okay guys so as you can see this one's finished first finished okay. yep so let's test it first uh, I check it from on the windows on the disk management management I'm sorry this one's device management sorry it's a bit slow it's a virtual machine and my host computer it's busy right now Yep, sorry. Okay, as you can see on the disk management, both of the disk is exactly the same. So, it's exactly the same. So, as you can see, it's the partition C, which is the disk zero, the first disk, uh, the, the source, and this one is the target disk, disk one. So, let's test it. Even from here, we can test it if I go to the quite slow okay let's shut it, shut it off oops okay guys so as you can see on the on this computer so the drive C which is the main one so as you can see we have the, this, those folders and uh, on the partition A, which is the disk zero, the, the clone one, we have exactly the same folders. So let's shut down the computer, this machine, and remove the first hard disk, the disk zero one. I shut it down. Okay, let's remove the first hard disk. I go to the settings. So this one is the first hard disk. Actually, it's disk zero. Oops, disk zero. And this one is the second hard disk, so which is the disk one, the clone one. So I'm going to keep the disk, the second one, this one, and uh, remove the first, the disk zero. I remove it. Okay, so right now I just have disk disk two, which is the disk the clone one. So press OK and turn on the machine. Yeah, come up the windows. Perfect, that's all. So just check the let's check the device management, disk management.
Yep. As you can see, we have only disk zero, and uh, the Windows is up, so everything working fine. So the clone works fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to send me an email to andrewrosen.20 andrewrosen2020 at gmail.com or andrew.rosen uh, at outlook.com. If you have any question, please ask me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks.